Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be pretty much a vlog style. I have so much that I want to do. We want to decorate our front porch, but I wanted to share with you all this recipe too and I had already cooked it up and it looks so good. I'll link the recipe down below, but I had this saved to try for the fall time and it just looks incredible. So doing like a little cook with me on here, I thought I would just share with y'all this. So this is what's for supper tonight. I came home and whipped this up really quick because it was so hot outside. Last week it felt so good. There was a breeze, we were all loving it. Get it going so I could go outside whenever it cooled off and start decorating the porch because it was just too hot out there. And then real quick, I wanted to share with y'all this. I found these, sparkling fresh pumpkin spice apple cider at Aldi's. So we'll come out here. Went ahead and potted the plants for me, my mom's. So I was glad that he did that. And we're gonna really clean everything. And then I have lots of stuff to work with. I'm really excited about how it's gonna turn out, getting to decorate our fall porch for the first time. Got all this from like our local little plant nurseries. And I got some pumpkins. And thankfully they already cleaned these for me. This broke off, but I'm gonna hot glue it back. And then I bought some of this. Now, everywhere tells you to buy the satin clear, but because everywhere tells you to buy that, everybody has bought it. So I couldn't find satin clear at Home Depot. So we're just gonna use this gloss clear. So we're gonna spray paint this, and these are supposed to help keep your pumpkins longer. And then also I have these beautiful wreaths that I picked up from Home Goods a few months ago. And they're Martha Stewart, and they're about $40 a piece, but they have lights. So you can turn on, I hope it has a timer. Let's see if it has a timer. Surely it does. Ah, no, it doesn't. Anyway, but I got these, and I know that I'll enjoy these for years and years and years. I love the colors. I already put them on the front doors just to see if I was going to like them, and I do. I love them. And then we have some moms. I got these from Home Depot, and I was going to get the real terracotta, but they seem to dry out so much faster than these plastic ones. And these don't have a hole, so I can put them on my tables. I don't even know if y'all seen these. I got these from Home Goods, So I can put these on my table with some moms. That's Kayla. Where'd they go? Kayla and Austin got me from Walmart. Here we go. So these are orange. And so I'm going to put one of these each in here to add a pop of color. And then same thing with these. These came from Home Depot too, and I really like them. And then look at these pumpkins. I have never seen one like this. It's like twins. It's so cool. So I got that one and this one. I'm going to get some more too. I'm going to go to my cousin, Rachel. Y'all all know her. I'm going to go to her pumpkin patch and get more. This is what I have to start out with. And then also from our, some of our best friends, they opened up a farm supply store and we got two like... Uh, straw bales when they are ones up under this corn so we're going to take this dried corn and the plan is to put them on each side of the columns and then right here we got our other rows in and then i'm going to take everything out of this bird bath and i'm going to put a mom and some flowers in here and some foliage in here and some pumpkins and then we got to add more mulch and then drew also did this side over here this weekend this side of the house and he was supposed to get more black mulch today, but he went to get it and they were out. So hopefully they'll get some in more. This, they'll get some more in this week because I got some more of this um, edging stuff. And we're going to edge the rest of this. And he put in a, so a camellia, it blooms white, and then two, I mean, three gardenias right there. We'll back up. So I don't know if y'all see this completed on the end of this video, but I'll show it to y'all later. So we're going to edge all of this and then put black mulch down, and then it's gonna continue to go all the way around the house. And we got loud again, because there he is. And then, not in this video either, but this is our cottage garden, if you're new to my channel. It looks very bad right now, but my plan is probably next week, I'm gonna come out here and start working on it. We have blueberry bushes out there that we're gonna move over here. We're gonna bring this out some and put blueberry bushes here and I'm gonna do a fall garden with like lettuce and carrots and stuff like that. And it just really needs to be worked on. But let me show y'all something else really cool too. I mean, it's growing up bad. If y'all were here in the spring, y'all saw it. It looked really cute, but we've got a lot to work on out here. 
and we've had these pear trees out here for years and years and years and they've never produced any pears and I think it's because we moved our garden out here. We actually have pears now. So hopefully next year we'll have two pear trees that we can get pears from. This looks bad, 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 but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with y'all because I really wanna do like a clean up with us out here and show y'all how we're gonna do our fall garden. So you, maybe this, I like seeing before and after, so you can see how bad it is. And we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna cut all these roses back a lot because they're not gonna bloom anymore this year. So we're gonna cut those back and then they should really take off and climb this next year. And then I am going to plant a mum in here and make this tabletop pretty. I might even, I have a cute tablecloth. I might put it on here. Um, and then we might even have like some fall picnics out here. And then we've got to clean up all this. This is a butterfly bush. And then this is all my herbs. I have lots of herbs, rose, and look at all these herbs. So I'm actually going to be using these to cook with. And I already have been using these. Look how cute. So yeah, this is what this looks like. It's going to get a complete fall makeover though. And then these are zinnias. They're starting to come back. This is a big weed. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take all this out and we're going to do like vegetables in here. So we'll come back to that another day. Let's go work on the front porch. They were in high school when they met Things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful it's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am your horse Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing do this as a voiceover because you can hear the tractors go in the background. Drew is working on the yard and his dad is cutting hay and I'm like what is more fallish than those sounds? And you can hear the birds chirping in the background. It's about 5 30 in the evening here and it is starting to get a breeze again. It feels really good out here. So I was going to show you all the start to the front porch. I'm going to add some things but we're going to do that on another video. I have some things that I want to add but let's go look over here first. We still want to add landscaping and stuff, but we're going to do that little by little. I want to put some azaleas there and something in this front part, but it is looking so good. We have came such a long way. So this is the bird bath that I did, and I love these little pumpkins. So these will last all through the winter, and I will add some probably pansies in here with this for the winter time, but for now through the fall, I'm just going to use 
the moms and then whenever this dies away i probably could use another mom but because i don't think it's going to grow any more than this but i really didn't feel like buying another one because this will be short-lived and then i'll put pansies in here but i thought the little pops of the orange and white pumpkins were so cute in this and then one day hopefully we'll have this big gardenia that's bloomed in real big and fills in like a pretty green backdrop to that so you have to use your imagination around here and then i already had these little lights i had got those at walmart years ago and they were lighting up in the cottage garden i had them just all in a pile and i was like i'm just gonna go ahead and put those to line the driveway so i'm gonna show y'all a night vision of this too now let's go up on the front porch so we have the corn stalks that drew put up for me on the columns it's so festive and then we have our wreaths and then I have an idea of what I want to do. I want to add these blow molds that I have, the like Jack Lantern blow molds. I fell in a bunch of them at the thrift store. And so instead of buying a whole lot of more pumpkins and moms, um, the next video that you'll see on the front porch, we're going to add those things in and decorate the space even more. This is just pretty much like a rough draft for fall. October is just around the corner and I love bringing out the Jack Lantern. So we're going to be doing that. And then I didn't get a fall rug because I love this welcome one. I got it from Target and I was wanting it to go through all the seasons um, because I like how long that it is. And then my moms haven't bloomed out yet, but a trick with moms, if you want them to last longer, you need to buy them. They've already bloomed out a lot since whenever I bought them. I made sure that there was a lot of little buds instead of the blooms on them because I wanted them to be able to last for a while and uh, so hopefully next time that y'all come back to the front porch, you'll be able to see them all bloomed out in full. This is just the first day of fall. So I didn't want to buy them all bloomed out and then them die on me before I was ready for them to be done. Or not really die, but you know, the blooms be done. So these should be all full and I cannot wait to see them. And then I love my stack pumpkins. They look so shiny. They look fake. I think, oh look, here's a spray paint. I think if I would have had that other spray paint, it would have looked better, but I honestly don't mind this. I think it looks really clean. And then y'all saw where I just hot glued that back. And these rocking chairs. Um, I'll link the rocking chairs down below. They're from a company that collabed with me. So I'll link them down if you're interested in them. We have really enjoyed sitting out here, but I want to find maybe some fall blankets. I don't really want to do fall pillows because I like my black and white striped pillows. I'm thinking like a plaid blanket or orange tassel blanket or something maybe, but I don't want to spend a fortune on them because they are going to be left outside. And then over here, our mom. I can't wait to see these bloom out. And then the same thing on this side. Now, I do want to say that like I wanted to add all the moms, all the pumpkins, go find throws and pillows to put out here and so this is just phase one so i hope this gets you excited to see what the other steps are going to look like today's video we are going to be decorating the back porch patio area for fall time and this has been one of the videos that i have been most most anxious about sharing with y'all i have lots of fun ideas for out here so i'm going to turn it around and show you everything what it looks like right now and then we're going to start styling it so here it is we're going to blow off the concrete where drew cut the grass and then we are going to kind of 
spot treat these little cushions we have been using this outdoor area so much i want to move this rug out just a little bit we're going to clean off this little coffee table area and restyle it now i don't know if we're going to dress up this swing bed that drew built me i have enjoyed this so much you can see there's bird poop on here i need to clean off i lay out here i feel like at least once a day and i love being out here at night time with the string lights on I'm gonna bring y'all out here at night time too, whenever we get through um, cleaning it and decorating it. We're gonna come back out here at night so I can show you. And then also the spiders are trying to go ahead and decorate for us for Halloween. There is so many spiders out right now. I'm not terrified of spiders. I mean, I don't want one crawling on me, but I don't freak out. My biggest fear is snakes. I cannot stand them. So let me know in the comments, are you scared of spiders? Or snakes or like what's your biggest fear we're gonna go ahead and clean up all of these little spider webs they're not welcome and then i have this little bistro area let me back up that i've had for a while from lowe's and it is very good quality i love it um i was planning on having like a little seating area arrangement right here and then have like a big table right here for outdoor eating but um, it was going to be too crowded, so I already had this, so I just put this there for now, and I'm loving this setup. There's still some things that we want to tweak and all, but this is stuff that we've had, and it works pretty well. My daddy brought the tractor over here. He's been doing some dirt work. If you remember, that was a huge pile of garbage, and he did that, and he's working on the driveway area. And then over here, Drew did bring his little black stone. He is eventually planning on doing like an outdoor kitchen area out here. Hopefully, like I've told y'all before, that will come where we hopefully get to do an outdoor pool area one day. That's the big dream. But um, he just brought this over here for now, and I really like this thing. These things come from Walmart. I'm just going to show you. This is really nice. So it has the little griddle top. I love making pancakes. It's so nice. I want to this weekend come out here after it's all decorated out here and let's make like pancakes and breakfast and just hang out outside. And it has like a little burner. Um, like a little cutting board area. It's just really nice. It has been used though, if you can see. We have used this thing a lot. We love it. So we're gonna just clean this up over here. It won't be uh, like the best looking, but we're gonna clean it up. And then we have some pumpkins and different decorations and I have lots of pillows to bring out here. So we'll go ahead and get started. I got this boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it bright I can be a fighter, I 
gotta say yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna na 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 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a As I was cleaning off this cushion, look at all of this cat hair. So apparently a little cat was taking a little siesta and enjoying our back patio too. I couldn't get it to come off, so I went and got the lint roller and cleaned off the cushion really well. that is what you think it is. I bet you weren't expecting that. I was not either. If you can see in the beginning of my video, I noticed you can see it sitting under the pillow. So that gave us a fun scare for the day. I thought that we were just going to be looking at spiders, but no, we have spiders and a mouse and a cat that is also enjoying our back patio with us. And it's not even spooky season yet. So I decided just to go ahead and put this together for y'all so you can see it decorated. And then my mom and I left after I got through filming and went out shopping. So before we left, I threw everything into the washing machine because I couldn't stand the thought of it. I felt like everything needed a good cleaning. So now that we talked about spiders and snakes, what about rats? Did those scare you? It really didn't terrify me. This one actually was just a little mouse, little failed mouse, and I thought it was pretty cute. But I was thinking and I was like, obviously the uh, cat didn't do its job and I guess that the cat and the mouse are just friends and they're just hanging out on the patio enjoying life together. All of these little picks and garlands I got from Target last year, and I told y'all I was going to use these around Halloween time, but I decided to just put them out here. I needed a garland for our outdoor fireplace, and I remembered I had all of these, and I love how this just burnt crisp orange just pops against this brick, and it made it feel so cozy and festive out here. I kind of want to get some light lights to add into this garland too. So thankfully, every pillow that is on here is actually a pillow cover, so I can take them off and throw them in the wash. So that was nice because some of these are actually indoor pillows, but I wanted to use them outside because I didn't have anywhere for them to be inside, and I thought they would be perfect and make it feel extra festive out here on our patio area because this is where we have been spending most of our time. Now I'm just going through and add in lots of moms and pillows. These pillows I actually had, and I got them. They were like a pack of four different varieties that I got from Amazon, and I really like these. Okay, friends, here is the final look. We're also going to do a nighttime view, too. We'll just kind of take a look at everything. You've already kind of seen it all though. These are some flowers that my cousin Kayla gifted me for our housewarming. And I haven't been doing good water in these plants. So I just gave them a good drink. I probably need to trim some of those off. They're so pretty. And then I had this tree stump that used to be in our old house. It's just like 
ceramic or something. But I thought it would be nice to sit here because you could put like a little drink on there if you wanted to. And then um, I had this blanket for a while. I got it from the thrift store. We're using a lot of things that we had this year. And then my mom's, if you remembered on my front porch decorate with me, I told y'all that I buy them where they're not blooming. I want a bunch of buds on it so they last longer. So hopefully these will be bloomed out soon and then it will be really beautiful. And these will perk back up. I just watered them. And then this pumpkin I got from the thrift store years ago. I love that pumpkin. And then these have a timer on them. So I'm waiting on it to get a little darker outside and then I'm going to turn the timer on and they'll come on at the same time every day and I'm going to put them in this lantern and then this is a sign that one of my friends made me that was local I don't think that she does this anymore though but I love this little saying and then again some more moms that are not fully bloomed out I feel like you can't get like the full effect of the video because the moms aren't completely bloomed out but it's okay and honestly there's been a breeze again today the last couple days has been super hot but today it has been breezy. When I came out here this morning, you can see it felt so good. So Drew and I are planning on making pizzas on the Blackstone the night. We want to uh, watch a movie out here. So we might be able to turn the logs on. We'll see. We'll have to clear out this little area. And then we did wash all this up. So I went ahead and finished filming for the video and then once I got through filming and left for the day my mom and I went shopping for some things I took everything off the pillowcases and everything and washed everything so it feels oh, I forgot to put the blanket back on here I took the blanket in because I want to use it a lot and I didn't want it to get dirty so I took it in and I'll bring it out here but now everything is fresh and clean so it'll be extra snuggly out here tonight. So that's will be what I see, where I sit. And then over here, this little area, I loved how this turned out. It's just simple, but very cute. And then we have a pretty fall scene on YouTube. I love this. I just found this one today. It's like overlooking the lake. And then the string lights. I like this little scene. And then right over here, On this, we just have another mom, a diffuser with citronella because the mosquitoes are still getting us some knots out here. And then I made up this the other day on my Instagram account. This is peppermint and citronella, and I sprayed this all over our couch and the pillows back there because somebody told me it would be really good to do that um, for rat repellent. And I have not seen any signs of a mouse out here. I've come out here and looked every morning. There's been no rat poop or anything out here. And then I just got this from the thrift store too. I just put it here. I honestly don't love this setup. It looks too crowded, but I may even take this pumpkin away. I don't know. I mean, it works for now. And we have to have a diffuser out here with citronella because of the bugs. And then over here, we just have some fall pillows. These used to be inside on our couch and I brought them out here this time to kind of cozy up the little space. And then you can see that I kind of cleaned up over here. I put our little plant over here. And this is some stuff I've been doing, some gardening. Uh, I actually did it today. Last minute, wasn't planning on it. But out there in the cottage garden, I cleaned up because I'm ready to plant our fall garden. Getting ready to. So this is our outdoor area. Now for it to get nighttime, I'm going to share with y'all how we're going to make the pizzas on the black sauna. It'll be the first time that we do that. And then we'll come back out here at night and see the candles lit and the string lights on. So the first thing that we're going to do is I actually bought some of this. It's just crescent rolls. And I need to look for a pizza dough because it would actually do a lot better. This tasted really good, but obviously it was kind of falling apart just a little bit. But I couldn't find the pizza dough in the grocery store. So this is what I grabbed. Like I said, it was still very yummy, but pizza dough would have been better. And then now I am going to be cutting up some peppers that we grew in our garden. I had harvested these the other, well, actually it was this day. I went out there and cleaned out our beds. If you follow me on Instagram, then you just saw the before and afters. So I cleaned out our beds and getting them ready for fall planting, but our peppers are stu still doing well. So I just watered them and I'm going to still harvest from them. So I'm getting that and some basil to use for our pizzas tonight.
And then I got a few more tomatoes. They probably still would have grown a few more tomatoes, but they were looking really bad. So I just went ahead and picked the ones that looked good and then just went ahead and got rid of the tomato plants getting ready to put in carrots and lettuce and things like that but isn't this little board looking so cute so i'm just getting it all ready and then i'm going to take it to drew out there he's already got the dough out there on the black stone and so now he'll just have his little toppings that he can put on easy You can see this thing has definitely been used and he's actually looking into getting another grill that's like I don't know he's all about a grill um, so we've had this one for a few years now but we have enjoyed it so much and cooking breakfast on it is my absolute favorite and we've never tried these pizzas before and they actually turned out pretty good um, we want to make another one that's like buffalo chicken and try out different ones it's really actually a lot of fun to make during the fall time because it was so breezy tonight i actually had to put on a pair of pajama pants and a sweatshirt and have a blanket and i was still a little bit chilly um, as we were watching TV or a movie this night. But I am also very cold natured. So Drew was out there in shorts and a t-shirt. But I was all bundled up. But don't these pizzas just look delicious? So we did make two of the exact same ones. Next time we said we wanted to try two different versions. And now Drew's just putting them on my plate. And we are going to actually put some cookies into the oven. And have pizza and cookies and a movie night outside. So these are the cookies that are my favorite. I got these at Aldi's and they're so good. I wanted to sprinkle some actual sea salt on top of them because we love that, but I let them cool off too much before I remembered to. So here's the outside, what it looks like with the beautiful glow of the candles and the string lights. It just, it is just everything that we could have wished for and more in a back patio area because Drew and I love being outside. It's hard um, for us to come inside whenever it feels so good. We just, we could just be out here all the time. So this has just been so nice. Drew and I, every time we're out here, we just have the biggest smiles on our faces. Okay, friends, well, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed cleaning and decorating and getting scared with me. Um, we have so many more videos coming up on my channel soon. So if you are loving these videos and want to keep hanging out with us for the holidays, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That means so much to us. We have been growing this channel now. Um, it seems pretty fast lately, and it has just been so exciting to watch it. I love making all the new friends over here. So if you're new, be sure to introduce yourself in the comments and I will see you guys on the very next one. God bless and I hope that y'all have a beautiful weekend. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, we are going to be decorating our new dining room in our new home. I've been super anxious to share it with y'all because I have been just loving how everything is turning out. I do want to say that if you are new to my channel, this is a new build. We actually got to build our dream home on the family farm. So uh, you'll see as we start decorating little spaces, I think that is coming together beautifully, but there is still a lot of things that we have got to do. Some little DIY things to complete the spaces. So I was like super anxious of like, trying to get everything just perfect for the holiday season, but I just feel like I'm just rushing through everything and I really want to enjoy, just sit back and enjoy all the little spaces of just being in this new home and really figure out what I want to do. So for now, we're really just kind of using what I have, um, what I've had from our older home, some of the things that I have bought to kind of spruce up, and then this will probably take us like months or years even, probably really years, to get everything exactly how we like it. And so I wanted y'all to keep that in mind. As we were decorating, if you see little things that need to be changed, most likely we already know about it too, and it's just on our to-do list. So we're gonna go ahead and get to a styling dining room, and I'll share with y'all the ideas that I have came up with so far for this fall season. Here is the dining room setup so far. 
and I want to talk to you about the big furniture pieces that we have in here and the chandelier. So first we're going to talk about this dining room table and chairs. This is a sponsored video today and I have been so excited to share this with y'all. Y'all have seen a sneak peek of these chairs in the videos previously, but our two end chairs finally came in and they are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I want to talk to y'all about these. So these are actually from the company Homery and they reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to collab and they have so many different products on their website and it was so hard to choose because they had so many dining room chairs that were just so different and unique and i knew right whenever i saw them i was like this is not usually something that i would go for in our home but whenever i started looking through them i was like oh my gosh i love them because i love having unique pieces in our home and i knew that this was just going to fit our new style so well so this is the first chair that i want to talk to you about and as you can see it is like so so just sophisticated looking and I am just obsessed. So this chair is actually the black faux leather upholstered dining chair and it comes with a set of two and it has the arms on them, but then it also comes with the metal legs. This was such easy assembly. It was already packaged in the box. It came on one big box and it had um, this piece and the legs were separate and I'm gonna flip it over so I can show you. So all that Drew and I had to do, I could have done this by myself, but Drew was here, so he did it. So all we had to do was just take the screws that came with them. There was four screws and all we did was line them up. There was already holes pre-drilled and we just lined up the screws to the holes and screwed them in. And that is all that we did to assemble these chairs. So again, this was so easy and it was very fast delivery. So it has like a crocodile skin texture and I knew I have fall decor already on it. I knew whenever I saw these, I just loved the texture of these and just how luxurious that it looked. So I just love how this crocodile skin was so elegant. And then also it has the metal legs and the gold feet, which add a touch of glam. I just love the design of it. It is actually very comfortable. It has very nice padding underneath and it just looks so well and complements our home in such a beautiful way. And so this is what we have on the ends of our table. So I'll let you see the back of it. And then the next ones, these actually came individually. So this came in the set of two and these were all sold individually. So this on the website is actually the rattan chairs. There is three different colors. There's like a black, a natural color, and then a darker wood, I believe, if I'm right on that. These chairs were no assembly required. They came boxed up individually and all I had to do was open up the boxes and get them out and they were done. And that made me so excited because we've had so many projects around here. That just made me so overjoyed to be able to see that. Now these, all the stuff that I'm sharing with y'all, it does have a one year limited warranty. And I love the quality of these. The black paint and the wood on these, they're just such beautiful, well-designed pieces. And then I was worried too, that there wasn't going to be much support on this rattan because there's not like a um, bar or anything that goes up under it. And I've had like everyone in my family test them out and everybody said that they were really comfortable. How it has the rattan seating here and then the rattan in the back as well. And we'll turn them around so you can see the back of these. And then here's the back. And I guess because they were no assembly required, they just look just so sleek and well put together. It just looks like it was just made into like one piece. It looks amazing. You can see I need to dust them. I haven't cleaned in here yet, so we're gonna do some cleaning in the dining room. But they just have this beautiful black paint to them. They just look absolutely flawless. And I cannot recommend these enough. I have never heard of this company before, but I'm so glad that they reached out to me because if you were looking for something different and unique, I would definitely shop their website. And I'll actually have a promo code that I'm gonna be linking down in the description box down below. And I will link both sets of chairs. So if you're interested in these, or you can just shop their website and see what they have. So again, thank you Homery for sponsoring today's video and making Drew and I very happy because we are so super pleased with our dining room chairs and excited about our new dining room setup. And then also our dining room table came from a local store, kind of local to us 
device is called Encore. And I added this table. I've been eyeballing for a while. Y'all, honestly, trying to figure out what like chairs and table that I wanted for our dining room because there are so many options out there. It's so hard because I love so many different styles. So it was hard to figure out what I exactly wanted. And I knew whenever I saw this in Encore, it caught my eye. And I loved the detail of the legs. It was kind of farmhousey, but kind of traditional and glam. So I knew that it would fit the style of our home just perfect. It also has these drawers. Now I will tell y'all I got this table on a way better deal because the drawers we cannot to get to come out. So they definitely are supposed to glide out, but they're stuck. But I don't think I will ever need to use these for anything. So that's why I was able to get a better deal on these. And I love these like little brass knobs that I have. Now Drew and I, we have not worked on these yet. So we probably could just take like a hammer and maybe some like a oil or something and help these be able to glide out. That's just one of our things on our projects that we need to do. But I mean, honestly, I don't know what I would use those drawers for, except for maybe storing like holiday cloth napkins. So I was not worried about that, but I loved the color of this. I'll talk about this piece real quick. This piece came from Big Lots and I got it like probably a year ago. It's been sitting in the basement. And then I also have this doll bow that I got. And I didn't think it was gonna fit under here and I'm so glad that it did. I kind of cocked it sideways. And we're gonna add some pumpkins in this and I'm really excited about how this is gonna turn out. And then we just have black velvet curtains that we've already discussed. And then also this chandelier I got from an antique store. Actually it was Encore, the same place I got this table. This was in our old house when we brought it here. Now it does need to be brought down some and the chain needs to be rub and buffed because it's not, it's like not an antique chain. It was a brand new chain we had to use. So that'll be another project for another day. And then also we have this fireplace that used to be in our old bedroom that was chalk painted white and distressed. And I knew in the new house I wanted it to be black. So we put the final coat of black on it. It's still kind of drying and we're gonna decorate this up. Now this may go into our master bedroom, maybe around the winter time because I love how it heats up our room. It's electrical. And we actually got this from Drew's coworker. He was selling it, so we got it from him and it was brown. I painted it white and now it's black. So it's been every color, but this may go into the bedroom. And I've had a lot of you say on my recent YouTube videos that the size of the furniture in here is too small, but we're gonna try to make it work. Like I said, use what I have to make it work throughout this season until I figure out what I really wanna do in here. But I feel like what I have done so far makes it feel so warm and cozy. So I hope that y'all enjoy this decorate with me. We're about to start decorating and pulling out some fall pieces and making this space all come together. First off, we're gonna start decorating the dining room table because I feel like it's the easiest. Now, I do have these two tablecloths. I got this one last year from Target and I love it. It has a little fringe at the end of it and the plaid. And then also, I got this one at TJ Maxx or Home Goods years and years ago. If you've been on my channel for a while, y'all seen this one every decorate with me. But I love the glam and just the neutral pumpkin and color. And I thought I was gonna use this in here, but you're gonna see later we add a lot of orange in here. So I needed to tone this down a little bit. So I think we're gonna use this one. And also, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I got this vase from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off. And then I also got these florals and I need to clip the price tags. Now these were not in the, in the fall section. I actually saw this on several other YouTube channels and oh my gosh, I loved them. So I had to go search for them because I did not know they weren't in the fall section. So they're like over there with like the other greenery and stuff in like the other aisles. But these, I think I put two, no, I put three in here and you can get them 50% off. And I just love how they're just like this beautiful color and they're so airy. And I just thought that they were gonna look so well in our dining room. But here's the thing with the tablecloth. If I make it go, I've always had this struggle. If I make it go all the way across, I can't set my table because you can't see the pumpkins and we are gonna set the table today. So we're just gonna kind of scrunch it up a little bit, just kind of mess it up. And then we're gonna set the floral piece on top of it. That way whenever we set the table, you can see the pumpkins. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is set our dining room table. 
These are our everyday dishes. We've been using these to eat with. I've been cooking a lot. I told y'all I was going to and I am. And I got these from Rustic Relics. It's a local like antique shop here and I've taken y'all there before. I love these so much. And it came with, I have like 13 or more. And so I didn't need that many in the cabinet. And I did have black chargers, but it was too much black. So I decided to bring these out. So we're just gonna use these to sit around the table. And I think you're gonna really love what I got next. I picked up these napkin holders. If I see something I love, I get it and I make it work. I don't really have a style. I've tried to figure out my style. My style is whatever makes me happy. And then we just try to go from there. So this is some beautiful napkin rings. They were $4.99, but they were on a sale. Kirkland's always has sales. I need to clip these price tags off. But I wanted to use these in here. I thought these would be so pretty for every season. And then I went to Home Goods and I found these orange napkins. So they are several different prints, patterns. And I honestly thought it was gonna be too much orange. I did not want it to look Halloween in here. I wanted it to look very fall and festive. So I was worried with all the black and orange, but honestly, I feel like because of the white stripes in this and because they're not like a silky Halloween orange, they're more of a muted fall burnt orange i thought that they were beautiful so we are just going to put these napkin rings on here and then we'll go get some scissors and clip off the price tags And you see what I mean by I really didn't need to use this orange. It was going to be way too much orange, even though I loved this. But if I wanted to, I could swap them out, especially like during Halloween if I wanted to, and then not use plates and napkins. Now, I want to eat at this table a lot. And I found it whenever friends and family came over, whenever I really have it all done up, like with the plates and the napkins and the glassware, the forks and spoons, it really just gets in the way. So... I have an idea of what I'm gonna do to be able to easily move these over. And I honestly probably won't keep this table set as much because I actually wanna be able to use our table. And I've told y'all in the past few videos that I want our house to be really cute, but practical and livable. Because I feel like the other one, there was just stuff everywhere. And I wanna really be intentional with my decorations and make it be a little bit easier to enjoy our home. I'm gonna show y'all the idea that I have, but I do love the table set and I thought it would be fun to do like a, a full dining room table set up, but I just needed simple. So if that's something that you're interested in, maybe for like a pretty table setting for Thanksgiving or like a Halloween party, y'all let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would want me to do and we can style this table different ways. But for now, we just needed simple. Okay, next I think that we'll move on to that little sideboard area. These pumpkins, I got these, it used to be local, but they closed sadly. It was called Old Town Market. And I just collected all the pumpkins that they had because these are so hard to find. And honestly, I hate buying a bunch of real pumpkins because they rot. I feel like it wastes my money and I have to buy new ones every year. So y'all know I love decorating with like real plants and real fruit and really bringing nature in, but that can get expensive. And so I try to find the most realistic things that I can. And even Hobby Lobby this year, they didn't have anything that looked as good as this. So y'all let me know if y'all have found some like really good realistic pumpkins as well made as these, because I've had a hard time. So we're gonna take these pumpkins and just style down here. Okay, so here are the leaves that I have. I got these from Michaels last year, I believe. And I'm thinking about tucking those in the holes, but we're actually gonna do this last. I'm gonna show you what I have. We're gonna style the top and then talk about the bottom because I wanna use the leaves, but I think it's gonna be too much. And then I have this moss that I just have collected in this little thing I found at the thrift store. And I just collect this live moss. You can get it at any craft store or Walmart. So I have several different styles of it and colors of it. So we'll come back to this in a minute. I can put this up so you can see me. Also, y'all let me know, the last few videos I've done, I have done voiceovers and kind of talked 
three things with y'all. And this one, I thought I would change it up and kind of actually do it kind of like live with y'all. So let me know which way you like it better. Do you like the voiceovers or do you like me like talking through every little thing of what I'm doing so I can cater to y'all because that's why I'm here. So let's go ahead and style the top of this. And I styled the top of this, like the wall part, two different ways. I'm gonna show y'all pictures. Um, I had mirrors up here and then I traded this and I'm gonna tell y'all my thought process. So I think we're gonna go with this on this side. My gosh, it just, it makes my heart so happy. Drew and I love this piece. Like when I stand here, it feels like I'm just there and I love it. I've got this beautiful arrangement that I put together. I thought I was gonna take it out and put it back together for y'all, but it's just perfect right now and I don't think I'll ever get it this perfect again. So this little vase, I got from the thrift store years ago and I used to have it on our fireplace with like some fire starters in it because we used to have a real fireplace. And I didn't think I was gonna keep it, but then I was like, this would actually be a gorgeous vase. I got it for so cheap at the thrift store. It's just beautiful and it's got the black and like the rustic look. And then this piece, I didn't think I was gonna keep all these florals because I sold a lot of fall stuff. And I ended up bundling up a whole bunch of stuff that I had and just throwing it in here and it's beautiful. So this is a wreath. I have another one. Here's the wreath. I got this from a local place called Farmhouse and Family and I loved how it had the dried apples and the oranges. And I'm telling y'all, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, all of them have some really good stuff. But if you go shop local and different antique stores, you can find some really different and unique pieces that you can't find at like the local big chain stores and you'll have something different than anybody else. I do still shop there. You're gonna see something I bought from Kirkland's that's beautiful. But these were so different and I loved putting these in the dining room because they were gonna go well with something else I was gonna put in here. So I laid this wreath down first and let it kind of like cascade over. And then I put a clear vase. I don't know if you can see it, you can't. But just like a clear floral vase in here because it helped keep these gathered together. And then I seriously just stuck all these things. I got all of this from Hobby Lobby. Dried eucalyptus. I don't think I got these from Hobby Lobby. I think they have these there though. And then these, Addison calls these eyeballs. I got these there, or maybe Kayla does. And then I have this, these like um, dried florals as well. And I just stuck it all in here and it just was like a showstopper. So we have like some real pieces in here and we have some fake. So don't be afraid to mix some like real dried florals with the fake. You just need to make sure that whatever you get doesn't look too cheap. Like it needs to look like you could go out in nature and find it. So I put this little piece together and I thought it just looked beautiful sitting over here. And it almost looks like this just came out of the artwork. The next thing I'm gonna use is style. I got this from an antique store years ago, been decorating this for a while. And I had all these dried oranges and limes and apples. I just love this. Almost, I honestly love this for every season. So I got the, this pack from Kirkland's and I just put it in here underneath the little cloche and displayed it. And I'm gonna set it right here beside this. And I love how like these apples and oranges on this wreath, they kind of tie in and complement each other. The next thing we're gonna use is this wooden bowl I got. It was homemade. I actually cannot remember where I got this. And then these figs, I tried to look for them this year. I couldn't find them, but they had them last year at the Target, um, like the decorative bowl section. They have like, they come in like little clear boxes, but these are figs and they look so real and they honestly feel, feel real. So I love this pop of purple. I thought that it complemented the purple and this eucalyptus very well. So I put this right here. Interior decorators and all say it's always like, a rule to decorate in odd numbers. So I feel like I have three right here. Sometimes I listen to that, sometimes I don't. I'm not real big on rules. I'm kind of a rule breaker if it works. So we have this decorated. Now we need to do this side for a while now. And I actually had it up for sale. But then I was like, you know what? I think that I can make this work. So I can do it like this. And if like we have little parties over here. I can put like little treats on it if I wanted to. And it kind of looks empty and bare right now, but I don't mind that because this is my plan. My plan is to use it to store my napkins and plates. So my little play settings. Whenever we have a lot of people over here, they can just clear the table, put it on here, stack it up. It'll be like a decorative piece. It'll look pretty, but it serves a purpose. 
And so I thought this was such a fabulous idea. The people used to come to our house and I had the table set. We would have to move it everywhere and it would just look messy in there and cluttered. So I felt like this was a very good way to put it all in one place and it still look decorated and organized because it already kind of gets crazy whenever a lot of people come to your home. So I thought this was a great idea. So this is what this purpose is for. The bottom, if you can see, I think that these leaves are just gonna be too much. I mean, they look really good over here. I feel like it's just gonna be a lot. So I feel like if I add in the green, it's gonna look good and just kind of tie everything together. And I just love that moss. And this is another reason why I'm thinking I wanna use the moss too, because of these pictures I found at Kirkland's. I told you that I shop more places than just thrift stores. So I loved these so much. There was three different ones, all different uh, floral stems, and I got two different prints. I loved how this tied into our chair in the living room. I loved the gold because we're gonna add some gold in here. And the green, I feel like I can use these every season, winter, spring, summer, fall. I feel like I wanted something to go on either side of the window that I could keep up all the time and not have to change out. And I think that these are going to be perfect. And so that's why I'm thinking if I add the green moss to the bottom, I feel like it's gonna really just add a pop of green in here and tie it all in because I feel like green it's a very good seasonal color too that can go with every season. You can't mess up with black, white, and green. And so I thought these were perfect. And so I think that I'm, I was gonna hang them in today's video. They're gonna get hung, but not by me because they have the two, again, I got these at Kirkland's and they were on sale, but they have the two um, hooks and I'm not good at doing that. So when Drew gets home from work, I'm gonna get these to hang these for me so y'all can see them. We're gonna set this up here. I got this from Kirkland's. And I love it. Don't, Kirkland has had some really good stuff right now. And I found this mirror and I have a lot of these like old antique looking mirrors in our home. They pretty much all came from Kirkland's. And I love them. And I know they're very popular right now, but I feel like they're like very timeless and they're just classy and beautiful. So I did get this mirror from the thrift store. And I absolutely love it. It has the roses on there. And I was trying to think of where I could use this. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to. And then, I can't remember who, but somebody gave me the idea to layer them. And I just think that it looks incredible like that. It gives it like a more dramatic feel and it's just so pretty. So this is what we're gonna use to work with. And I feel like it really draws the eye up because these are smaller pieces in our dining room. So I hope this, I think this helps like fill in the wall. I have a lot of these antique candlesticks that um, they're brass. I don't really even remember where they came from, but I have them in three different sizes and shapes. And then my cousin Kayla picked these up for me because they were on clearance or sale at Hobby Lobby. And these are orange and they are like twisted candlesticks. And I haven't taken the prices off yet. They were only $1.99 and 50% off because I want to make sure I like the orange first. Um, they did have other colors, but I want to make this beautiful arrangement first that we're about to make before we take the tags off. So don't just be jerking your tags off right whenever you get them because you don't ever know what's going to look good to complete the look. So we're going to stick those right there for now and then we're going to style this. I have this beautiful piece that I got from an antique store. I have been so excited. I actually thought this was going to be our table center piece, but change of plans. And then I want to fill it up with some very beautiful fall foliage that like kind of cascades out of it. So I went to Hobby Lobby and Target and this is what I found. This was in the fall section. These are the only two things that I found in the fall section. And then I found all this just over in the little middle aisle. So I got some of these that look like baby breath. These, now since this is a shorter vase, I went and tried to find the shortest picks that I could. So I got three of these little black berry looking things. I got some of these, which are the same of these, but these are long stemmed and they had these in three different colors as well as these, but these are shorter stem. And then I got just one of these. And then from Target, I got these. And I'm not planning on using all these, I don't think. I might somewhere throughout the house, but not in this one arrangement. So these were when these were in like the, yeah, the hearth and hand section. And then these were in the hearth and hand section. And these are longer stem. But look, these kind of look like these are just more brown and these are more of a maroon. So 
We're going to hopefully style this. Oh, I have one more thing. And then I have all these dried up magnolia, well, actually, no, these are not magnolia leaves. I don't know what kind of leaves these are. These are some kind of dried up floral uh, foliage that I got out of an arrangement that I took apart and redid that I got from Rustic Relics. So I'm gonna use these in here and then all this fake stuff. And honestly, I'm super nervous about this. This took me forever to dig around and see what I liked and what was gonna look together in the stores. And I've never really done, I mean, I feel like those were easy, but I feel like this is gonna be complicated. So I think that what we need to do first is get some tape put on here and then just start fluffing. So I just took tape and just kind of made like a little checkered board. I don't know if you've ever seen this tip before, but this helps everything stay very much so into place without it falling all over. So I know that we're gonna have to bend a lot of these and shape them up. So we're gonna see what we come up with. Y'all wish me luck. Okay, round two. The tape didn't work this time because I needed it to have height and I couldn't get the height that I needed. So I had these little votives, these little bases. So we're gonna put those two in the middle and then try to make little arrangements in these and so they can spill out if they need to. And then we're gonna try to put all the magnolia leaves just around it. So we're gonna see if that's gonna work. I keep going to magnolia leaves. I don't think they're magnolia leaves. Okay, friends, this was a delicacy. And I feel like I can't even get it on angle good. I think I've just played with it for too long. I think it looks good. It might need a little tweaking. And honestly, it looks better, I feel like, off camera than on camera. I don't love the orange stems anymore. So Hobby Lobby had lots of different color stems and I thought the orange was gonna work, but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna go look for more of a muted color. Maybe even if they had some this color, which I think that they did. So we're gonna look for that. But I think for now, if we step back, this is going to work. The only thing is I feel like the green needs to kind of sink down just a little bit more so you can actually see the flowers in there. But you can kind of see what it looks like. And I think that it worked out pretty good besides, like I said, tucking these green foliage in a little bit more. So I'll probably play with them a little bit more. Now we're gonna just take all this moss and I'm just gonna pick through some of it. Like this is in sheets. That's kind of too green. We're just gonna take some of this and pull it apart. Okay, we're done. That is how this turned out. And I love how it looks like it's just looking like it's sitting in a pretty pumpkin patch. And now I'm gonna show y'all something that I redid. So I moved the little fig bowl and put this out that I got from, where'd I get it from? Home Goods? No, TJ Maxx yesterday for $16.99. I debated on it. My mom was like, Holly, you've got to get that. And she said, if you end up not using it, she wants it. So I think this is so pretty. So we have this here and it just looks like it's just popping out of the scene. A big laugh out of this because this is what I do all the time. I didn't love the fireplace. And so I changed it to this. I already had all of these leaves that I loved so much. And I just wanted it to kind of flow better with the other side of the dining room. And I felt like these leaves felt like they popped right out of that picture. And uh, the florals just wasn't doing it for me. It's something I can take all those back, save my money on that because I already had this. So I try to as much as I can work with what I already have unless I'm absolutely in love with something. And like I said, since I wasn't in love with it, I did this. So these are picks and I just made it look like a garland. And then I was gonna do pumpkins in this, but I decided to bring in some purple over here and I put the little figs here. And then now my orange candlesticks looks good because I loved the orange twisty candlesticks. And the fireplace is electric, so I'll show y'all that later. But that's what this side looks like. And I feel like I definitely wanna add either something bigger to this wall. I don't really wanna add just a whole bunch of little stuff here. But for now, I think this looks really pretty. And then Drew got home and hung these beautiful pictures and I am just obsessed. I'm gonna step back and let you see. Oh, they look so good. I was worried they I was worried that they would not look great in this space, but they just make it look so pretty. So here they are. And I feel like they just add just a beautiful touch to the ends of these walls and they tie in if you don't know what chair I'm talking about. I have this chair in the living room and I feel like 
it just brings the spaces together. So I really like how this dining room area turned out. I did go ahead and undress my table and put all that up there. I love how this turned out with working with what I had and saving as much money as we decorated for this fall season. Thank you all so much for being here with me today and helping me decorate our dining room. I am just so overjoyed at being able to decorate this new house of ours for this fall season and excited for all the new seasons to come and be able to just change all of this up throughout the years and just have fun being creative. I hope that this video encouraged you to work with what you have or just go out in the garden or out in the yard and bring things in from nature to work with where you don't have to spend a lot of money or just like I said, simply using what you have and reworking it in different spaces. It's so much fun being so creative and don't get discouraged either if you do something and it didn't turn out the way that you had planned in your head. That happens to me all the time. Just take it down and start over fresh because you can do it. I have faith in you. Again, I wanted to mention, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go follow me over there and check me out on my stories daily to kind of see behind the scenes of what's going on. I love sharing with you guys every day. And then also, if you have not yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more Decorate With Me's for fall season, we're going to be doing lots of home tours, and then we're going to be doing some fall day in the life videos. So I would love to have you just stick around here on my channel. I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless and I'll see y'all on the next one. season so we are going to be decorating our home our new home that we have waited so long for years and years and years in the making this home of ours here on the family farm and we are finally here and we get to really start decorating it up for the holidays so we made it just in time and we are so thankful what we're going to be doing on my channel this year pretty much the same as every year we're going to be decorating with me almost in every part of the home and then towards the end of the season, we're gonna do a full home tour because we just got moved in. There's things that we still have to buy like a coffee table and different things that will be styled. Like today we're doing the living room decorate with me and I don't have a coffee table or rug in here yet. So hoping if everything goes right, then by the end of the season, I'll have those things kind of completed and we'll be able to, I mean, I'm not gonna rush it if I don't find it. We'll just have to do a rug or coffee table in the living room. But the plan is to be able to do a home tour and everything will be tweaked and kind of finalized for the fall season for this year. And so we're gonna do that. But then also we're gonna be going and touring some of my friends and family's home. Sister-in-law is getting a new house and she's getting married this year. 
my mom's house got renovated um, and there's some other people's houses that you wanted to see for the fall and so we're going to be doing that too so lots and lots of fall inspiration here on my channel and if you haven't already i would love for you to stop what you're doing right now and hit that subscribe button if you want to see all things fall and not just my style i think that's what i really like here over on my channel is you get a glimpse of lots of different fall styles so whether you're traditional farmhouse or glam or modern whatever it is that you may be there is surely a video here for you where you can draw some inspiration from it before we get started there is one thing that i want to mention and it is this pumpkin spice for your soul book so over here on my channel we are all about decorating oils friends and family time and jesus lots of jesus so i wanted to share with you all this book that i purchased last year and i've loved it so much this is not a sponsored video at all i just i love this book there's lots of things that i'm going to share with you all that I just fall in love with and I want to just share it with y'all and so y'all will see it over on my Instagram page or on my YouTube throughout the seasons and if you're not following me on Instagram be sure to do that too because we do like all kinds of things over there you can watch me in my stories and every day we're over there and I'm kind of showing y'all what's going on every day so I am gonna be trying to post videos two times a week but there might be like bonus videos throughout the seasons because we have so much content to share so this is called Pumpkin Spice for Your Soul. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna kind of show you what's in this book. So if you're interested in it, this is something that you can do to get your day started, get up, get you some coffee or chai, hot tea, whatever it is that you drink, and then start off the day with a devotion and in your Bible. So we're gonna take a look at this real quick before we get started. So here it is, and she also has a Christmas version of this too, but I'll share it with you during Christmas time. So this is is just such a cute little book. I just really enjoy it. So this is, has the introduction and then it is titled, each devotion is titled something festive. So the first one is pumpkin spice, of course. So it has you a little Bible verse and then it, it just goes into just a nice little read and then It'll give you a prayer for the day, what to ponder on, and then the extra shot, it will be like, make up a big batch of these lattes and deliver to your school's teachers, your church office, and then also so she gives you lots of different recipes too. So slow cooker, pumpkin spice latte, and then back to school. Let's see if we can just flip through. It's just such a sweet little book. This would be a perfect little gift too. I loved this. I underlined this. So I wanted to share it with y'all because I feel like it would be something perfect to start out your season with. And I think it's something that you'll like to pick up and read every day. This would be, like I said, such a great gift to give to friends or family or teachers. And so I just wanted to share that with y'all before we got started on today's video. So we are gonna get to decorating, but we're also going to do a little DIY today. So I got this from the thrift store for $1.99. And the color's not bad, but I really want to paint this a different color. So I'm gonna try to get this spray paint that has a texture to it. I'll show you whenever it gets here. Drew's gonna pick it up on his way home from work because he has to pass by it. So I think I'm gonna spray paint this and it's gonna have like a texture to it. I think I'm gonna do it cream. I was thinking either like a creamy color or black. I think I'm gonna do cream. And then we're gonna make a DIY candle in here. I have a video on my channel where I made candles for fall last year and I've loved them. And so my mission this year was to find cool pieces like this that were thrifted and just kind of repurpose them and make some candles with them so I can have them sitting on our island and just have that that glow so I do have this piece and I probably won't make this one today we'll see but I've had this candle for years from TJ Maxx and I don't burn it anymore I'm telling you I've had I've had it for years but I just like it just sitting out I think it's so pretty so we're gonna try to get this out and then I'm gonna make my own pumpkin spice candle in here with my essential oils so here is a look at some of the decorations that we're gonna be using on the built-ins today. Some of the stuff still had the tags on it because I was playing around with it all. And then we have some over here on this side too. Y'all saw this if you watched my previous video of pretty much like unboxing all my fall stuff. 
we have this picture of Drew and I from a long time ago. I want to update that picture this year. And we have some books, some little statues. I love these so much. I got these from Hobby Lobby, and they're just like little blackberries. And you would think blackberries are like a summer decor, but I love how it has like the little dried foliage on it. So we're going to be using these. And then these beautiful bird pictures I got from Hobby Lobby. And I have had lots of these little mercury glass pumpkins I've collected from like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I love those. And then lots of LED candles and some amber jars. So the very first thing that we're going to be doing is filling up our diffuser to make it smell like fall in here. So I have this little can the canister that I put water in and I just keep it on the bookshelf so it's easy to refill these things. And if you're new to my channel, I don't burn candles or have wall plug-ins. I'm not the one that runs out to all the stores and get all the pumpkin spice candles. That used to be me years ago. But then whenever I learned how harmful those candles were and all the fumes that we were burning into our home, into the air that we breathe, I traded all those in for essential oils. And so I still get my fall scents. And honestly, y'all, it's better than ever. So what we're going to be using today is cassia, which is like a sort which is like a form of cinnamon, and then vanilla. Now you can go on Pinterest if you are intimidated, intimidated by this at all, and you can actually get on Pinterest and type in like fall diffuser blends, and there's all kinds of different ways to diffuse oils and make different scents like your candle, like your fall candles. And Young Living is actually releasing some fall blends today, today, September 1st. So I've got mine coming in and I am so excited about them. This is what I like to do. A lot of people like to start off before they start decorating by lighting up a candle and I like to get my diffusers going. So this one has different run, run times. This one came from Young Living as well. This diffuser did. I like getting my diffusers from Young Living or Target. I feel like those ha those are the best options out there. Walmart has a few good ones too, um, but there's like Amazon. I haven't had much luck with them. And then the next thing that we're going to do is clean off all of our bookshelves with another natural product that I like to use. And this is the Thieves Cleaner. I'm sure a lot of y'all have heard of this, but I made a pumpkin spice scent Thieves Cleaner. So I got these bottles off of Amazon and then I got these labels off of Etsy. I got one for Christmas too, but look how cute this is. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love Something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love Down. I 
gonna spend the night with her Just bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of love breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating You can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love Built-ins are done. What are your thoughts? I think it turned out so good. I was able to use pieces that I have had in our previous home and then some new touches. And then now we have got to decide what to do on the mantle. So I kind of like it. Well, first we have to tuck away these little, it's like part of the mount of the TV, but I have to tuck those away. I was thinking, whoops, I was thinking maybe I don't need to add anything, but I just love the fall decorations and the coziness of the leaves and the pumpkins and I just feel like it's incomplete. So here's the two things that I have that I think might would work. I thought I was going to use this outside. I really want to do the outside kind of more fun because I love that style. Still, I don't really know what you call this style. I think a lot of people call it farmhousey. But I also have these and these are just leaves and they're like picks but I've made this into a garland before. Love. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Beside me you'll stay, or take me away, I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. I think it looks so good. Let me know what you think. Do you think that it looks better with garland or without? I just don't think I'll ever be able to get away from traditional fall decor. And just adding that pop of pumpkin garland with the touches of oranges just made me feel a little bit more cozy and at home. And you have to search fall ambiance. And so there's all kinds of scenes on here. I love these so much. If you've been around for a while, you know that these happen every season. So you can find different ones, whatever you would like. There is so many to choose from and every year they put out more. So you can do like an autumn forest. Um, you can actually do like real life nature, like people showing like tours through the woods and all. But I seem to like these little cartoon ones. So we're gonna find one real quick. I'm gonna take my time, look at the new ones. Oh, I love this coffee shop one. It has relaxing jazz music with it. Okay, here's the one that I chose for today just because it's new. But this one is a little coffee shop and I wish I could turn it up, but I don't know if I can for copyright reasons. But there is jazz music playing. You can hear like things happening in the city. Like it feels like you're really there. Like you hear the wind blowing and you hear coffee brewing and you hear like the cars in the city riding around. It is just such a nice little setting. I love these little things. There's ones on the lake where you can hear the lake water and the birds chirping. They're just so nice. So I like to actually come in here every morning and turn on one of these fall scenes, have my breakfast and chai, do my devotion, 
and then just let this play as I am decorating or doing whatever I'm doing. Okay, so we have a problem. First off, you're gonna see tags still on my sofas. We have not been sitting on this one because we're tr still trying to figure out the living room situation if we like it or not. And this chair, this is not the color chair that I ordered. I'm wanting to go back to the place that I purchased it from, which was Ashley's, and look at the chair options and see if there's another color that'll work better in here. But that's just not on my list of things to do right now. This is all the pillows that I have for fall. And a lot of these will get used outside on the back patio because I want this to be very fun and festive out here. So here's my problem. I bought this black and white striped pillow and I absolutely love it. But my question is, do I just want to keep just this black and white striped pillow and nothing else? Or maybe find some pillows to go on the side and just kind of let it be? It's just kind of a neutral, cozy home feel. Or do I really want to step up my game and move that out and then add in these orange or added like a touch of orange pillows or something like that. So here's my problem. I wanted to use these and then add a touch of this orange with it, but I feel like whenever I do that, it looks too Halloween. So I don't think that that's going to work as you can see. So we're doing this together because I have not tried doing any of this. So I have this blanket and I'm like, I wonder if I just throw a blanket over the couch with this pillow, but that's really not working either. Okay, here's what we have so far. This is not my favorite. This is the best that I could do with what I had to work with. Let me show y'all. I have all these pillows. None of them are working. I love these pillows. Thought they would work in here. They just don't. I'm going to use these outside. I think they'll be super cute out there. So, this is what I have. I didn't think that I was going to use like these pumpkin pillows anywhere, but they really, it doesn't look bad. Mind this. And so, right now, I'm really not too worried about these pillows. I really don't want to go out and buy anything until I know for sure what we're doing with the living room setup situation. So, right now, these are just going to do. So, we'll see what happens during the actual home tour to see what I change it to. It's the other way. So, I FaceTime my mama. When I can't figure something out, I just FaceTime my mom. So, this is what she told me to do. She said this was her favorite. So, let me know which way is yours. And I feel like if I got some like creamish colored, just plain with some like designs in them pillows to kind of complement these to go on maybe each side, it would look good. But I really kind of like, I didn't think I was going to. I'm gonna finish cleaning up in here and seeing, but I kind of like how it looks just right now with not so many pillows on the couch. I'm going for comfort in this home. Like I want this home to not feel so much like there's just stuff everywhere where we can't be comfortable. So that's kind of what I'm going for in this new house. We are about to work on the candle project. Drew stopped by our local hardware store and picked up this. There was only two colors to choose from. There was a darker brown color in this. So this is what we're going to try. I don't even know what the color is. You can see it's like a textured spray paint. I don't know how it works, but we're gonna try it out. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my 
my eyes You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down Well, hello friends and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be putting all this fall stuff where it needs to go in our kitchen. So, I already have some things put up. I did have all this out and displayed, kind of how I liked it, but there's some things I wanted to tweak. So, we put everything on the counter. What I like doing is working in like a fresh, clean slate. And I kept some things out that I knew I was gonna keep there. There's Maddie. So, it's, um kind of got stuff everywhere right now. I did put these up here, these dishes. I'm gonna kind of show y'all some things first and then we'll start decorating. So uh, I got these from one of you, a sweet subscriber, y'all been here from the very beginning, Miss Donna, and she gifted me all of these. And they're so beautiful and I cannot wait to display them. I did find the little mugs at Rustic Relics, but there was only four. So I found something else I think is gonna work here. But this is how I've been displayed so far. And my intentions were to take them all out and then style everything for y'all. But actually getting on this hurts my knees. So I was like, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Y'all can see how I did that. So I just stacked them up. And then my mom got me this stuff from Dollar General. And I thought I was gonna cut it in little bitty strips to hold these in the place, into place, but they seem to be doing pretty well so far. So I'll probably do this whenever I take these down and put in my Christmas dishes to be extra safe. So I have four sets over here and then over here, I had some extra bowls and things and I had this copper tray. So I just put it up top. Oh, I just thought a pumpkin would be really cute on top of that. We may do. So here is the other side. And I just have those stacked up. And then up top, I have this beautiful Carrier and Ives plate that I've had for years. And then I put my copper little mugs up there. I wish I could find another cake plate though. I'm not thinking that I love the white because nothing in here is really white. I'm thinking like a wooden cake plate. So I have a wooden one. I may see if it will fit in there. I think it needs to be smaller though because the doors won't close. So we've done that so far. I've got to get the sticker off the window. Just haven't done that yet. And honestly, I don't know if I'll get to that before the end of this video. So uh, Drew and I are gonna do a big cleanup outside next weekend and next week, and we're gonna start decorating the porches. So the stickers might be on there. It's too high for me to reach. And then over here, sorry, Maddie, we have my diffuser and I have been, I spaced these out. I talked to y'all about this in my last video. So this, or maybe I didn't. Hold on. So Young Living came out with these new, new oils and it's the fall collection. So there's Cozy Cabin, Ginger Snaps, and Orange Spice Cider. So I went ahead and distributed them and I thought this Orange Spice Cider would be perfect in the kitchen. I love the way this smells. If you love Christmas Spirit, this is similar to Christmas Spirit. And then I put Cozy Cabin in our bathroom and Ginger Snaps in the living room. So we're going to get that going in a minute. And then right here, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been sharing this and I loved it. This is the Alexa Echo 8 and I'll link it down below. She heard me. I'm obsessed with this thing. I tell it to play music all day long. It tracks where my Amazon packages are. I'm obsessed. There's all kind of different styles and generations you can get, but this is the one that I have. And like I said, I'll link it. Like it just, and you can put your pictures on it too. So it can play through like a, a photo album. So I love that thing. And a lot of you on Instagram have loved it too. Like you can say, Alexa, play worship music. Here's a station you might like. Praise and worship on Amazon Music. 
and then it'll play it and you can tell it to play a song. Hey Alexa, play Egypt. Playing Egypt live for over 90 million songs on demand. Say try Amazon Music Unlimited. See, it's so Egypt, easy. Live. Alexa, turn off. So I can be walking around the house, doing whatever I need to do and I can just talk to her and she'll do whatever I can tell her to turn the volume up and down. She's great, we're best friends. So this would be a great Christmas present and I'm not sponsored by them. I wish that I was because I am so in love with it. Okay, and then over here we have a little poster that we're trying to propagate. I'm probably gonna move that somewhere else because I don't want the kitchen to look cluttered. And let's turn it over this way. So we have lots of things here on the table that I'm going to be styling. These are some glasses. I was looking for some of these that were um, like vintage or antique, but I could only find a pairing of six whenever I was out at antique stores. And I needed eight to go in these. So my good friend, Kaylin Cash, was styling her kitchen and she had some of these. And so I could not find them. I had to text her and ask her where they were and they were in the fall section. So go to the fall section at Hobby Lobby, everything's 50% off. So I got these for $5 a piece. And I think they're gonna be beautiful styled in there and then i'll probably actually drink out of them too i love 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 drinking out of little fancy glasses like this super cute and then we have all kinds of little things i have this little pumpkin pie dish and this is actually a cake stand that my cousin kayla gifted drew and i for a little housewarming gift so i'm hoping that this will fit in there to bring in some uh warmer tones so we'll see i think it might be too big and then i have this little pumpkin I think I got it Rustic Relics. This is something new, just came in today. It was perfect because I wanted to film this video and I needed this butter dish and it wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow and it came in. How cute is this though? I got this from Anthropology, and I really like their stuff. I have a lot of little mugs and stuff that are this print and I just think it's so cute. So I got that in. And then I have all of our wooden utensils pepper from the garden. Here's some pumpkins, which I think that I'm going to take one of these pumpkins and put it up there. And then I have this big copper bowl that I was going to put like pumpkins or pears or apples in. So I decided to do apples. And then we got this knife set from Time and Table, which is a Walmart brand. We love them. It even has a knife sharpener in it. And a wreath. Got this from the thrift store a cookbook. I wanted an autumn cookbook um, so I could just display it this way, but I opened it up to display this autumn squash soup. So we'll see if we keep that or not. And then we have my tray with all of my little hand soaps and cleaning soaps and stuff. And the little pumpkin candle that I made. I think that's about it. So we're gonna use all this stuff to style the kitchen and we may bring in some new stuff. And then also, I put this up here. So this came from, uh, it's out of business now. Y'all heard me say this every video. I loved their stuff. It was called Old Town Market. And uh, they actually gifted this to me and I put this up here. I was gonna do a wreath and I loved the idea of the wreath, but I thought this would be perfect here and do something different because we see wreaths on the hood vents all the time. And so I thought that I would just change it up. I think that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and start decorating and styling in here. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Springs. 
walk up the river by my son. Feet step over splinters of the moon. school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand he held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show oh, They're in love now And I wanted you to know We are done decorating the kitchen. You're going to see I moved some things around. And I really like how things turned out. I feel like there's a lot going on in the kitchen. But it's not too much where it feels cluttered. And there's still a lot of space to work for cooking. Because I have been cooking a lot lately. So be sure to stay tuned for the end of this video. Because I'm going to be sharing with y'all a yummy potato soup fall recipe. That I have been wanting to try. And I'm going to link it down below in the description box. It is delicious. Let me know in the comments down below if you are through decorating for fall. I see a lot of people are starting to decorate for Halloween now. And we are just now getting the fall decorations just like I like it. And next week, we're going to be decorating the front porch and the back porch for fall. We actually went today and got 
a lot of mums and pumpkins and straw and corn stalks and I am so excited to finish editing this video so I can get outside and get those porches decorated. I wanted to mention that this little gold tray with legs was actually supposed to be a part to our bathtub faucet and it didn't work and so I used it. My mom was like this is really cute you should keep it so I used it to make like a little riser out of it so you can definitely use what you have around your home. Make things work. get a lot of questions about my rug this doesn't stay in here permanently but I got it from Target a couple of years ago and they, it comes in all different sizes and I love it I love bringing it out for the fall time over on this side I actually want to get some canisters the ones that I had didn't have a seal to it so we were getting ants in it so I want to find some pretty canisters to go over here by my kitchen aid because this is like my baking area and then also I want to find a different wreath too, I think. I think this one's too small. This is one I already had, but let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that it fits the pantry door size or do I need to look for a bigger size of one? This side kind of looks like a lot going on, but I loved having the idea of everything together on this tray because like I said, since I've been cooking so much, it's been so nice to have everything so handy. And I've seen these trays like this styled before and I just love the idea of it. What if the world had more of your smile? are new to my channel or haven't already i would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be with us decorating throughout this holiday season i have so much content to be sharing with y'all not only at our new home but lots of my friends and family's homes and my cousin's pumpkin patch there's just so much to share with y'all and i'm so excited about it and it really helps my channel a lot if you do that and it is free to you I try to post two videos a week and then I am planning on probably doing some bonus videos just because like I said we have so much fun things coming up. Okay, now on to cooking. So uh, this is something that I pinned on my Pinterest board for the fall seasons for the yummy treats that I wanted to try. And Drew and I thought that these smoked jalapeno potato soups sounded delicious. And y'all, it is one of my new favorite soups. Now, it's not like your normal potato soup. This one's a lot more cheesier. There's a lot of cheese in this. But oh my gosh, it is delicious. So uh, definitely give this a try. And then let me know if you do and what you think about it. extra jalapenos and I didn't completely seed them because we like our things spicy and I kind of tweaked this just a little bit I always tweak our food I don't always go exactly by the recipe and I was so worried that this was not going to taste good because this took a lot of effort um a lot of preparing and things and I told Drew I said I hope this tastes good and he said if it, this tastes as good as it smells then we'll be doing good so now we are out in my garden collecting some fresh thyme I actually did this spring in apothecary garden and I've been loving growing my herbs and so that's one thing I've been really excited about is to be able to use things from outside in our garden to cook with now we're going to be getting our caraway pots and pans these are my favorite pots and pans ever a lot of my family has these now and we just love them they are non-stick non-toxic y'all you don't even have to really put butter or oil in these things they are incredible and the 
how you wash them is so easy. So you're supposed to take this little organizer for your lids and hang it on your cabinet door and we just haven't done that yet. And then it also comes with these little trays that organize your pots and pans and they're magnetic. I've heard about these pots and pans for years and I've always wanted some and so I was so excited whenever they wanted to collab with me and I'm telling you this would make a perfect Christmas birthday any kind of gift oh my goodness you will not be disappointed these things they are so good what if your sweetness could reach everyone there being awards mm -hmm. maybe the birds will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word so i haven't ever done a lot of like little cook with me videos before but i am really loving trying out new recipes and i have so many ideas that i want to do for the holiday season so let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you're interested in seeing some quick little recipes and um seeing what we're cooking up in our kitchen for the holiday season. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. So I know if I need to be sharing that over on YouTube or just on Instagram. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that whip up some like jalapeno and cheesy cornbread so i love the jiffy cornbread i just love it i love sweet cornbread so i got the honey flavored jiffy one to try out and i loved it drew doesn't love sweet cornbread um so he didn't love this one but i really enjoyed it so i'm just gonna add in some jalapenos from our garden and then some cheese in here and mix that all together really well and then i have this really cute little baking mold that I got from Walmart. I think it's Pioneer Woman, I think. But I want to get a pumpkin one or like a leaf one or something because I want to make like some festive food for the holidays. I feel like I like cooking more whenever I can make it pretty. Thankfully, this little recipe that I did turned out pretty and very delicious. So I hope that you guys enjoyed decorating with us today and cooking up a little fall meal of potato soup. It has been some crisp fall days here in Alabama and we have been really enjoying them. Thank you all so much for being here with me today and I'll see you next week as we decorate our front porch and back porch. Thank you guys. Love y'all. God bless. See y'all on the next one. Well, good morning, friends. And on today's video, we are gonna be sharing how to decorate the pantry for fall. We're gonna be sharing with y'all some new furniture I brought into the dining room and then a fun little breakfast recipe that's really easy. But first we're gonna start it off in our pantry. I guess let's shut the door. So this is going into our pantry area. You can see I've brought everything out. This is some stuff I'm gonna be using to decorate with. And I know this wreath is really small, but it's the only thing that I had. And I was trying to use a lot of things that I had because we are in a new build. So, we'll get better with all the decorating throughout the next few years as we get settled. But this is our pantry. And I love it so much. And the other side is where the shelves are for all of our food. And I'll share with y'all that. It's not organized, though. I mean, it's pretty organized, but not like Pinterest-worthy organized. So, this is what it looks like in here. I love this little light. A cousin of mine got that at the thrift store. So I have this autumn leaves bed and breakfast sign and it says where the snuggle is real, but you can't see that. So this is a sign that's reversible and the other side is a reindeer bed and breakfast. And I got this from a local friend and I used to put it over our bed. Well, it doesn't really match the theme of our bedroom anymore. So I was like, you know what? It'd be really cute in here because it says bed and breakfast, and this area has became like our little breakfast bar, which as you'll see, we have my Berkey, which we'll talk about in a minute. We have a blender to make smoothies. We have our toaster, stuff to make coffees and froth our creamers and teas. So all that's in here. 
And then we're gonna just add to it with some things that are really cute little decoration pieces, but also is very practical because we use a lot of the decor that we're gonna be using on these shelves to make our little breakfast meals. So we're gonna go ahead and get started decorating, but first we're gonna talk about the Berkey. I'm going to do the red food coloring test. So I have my Berkey taken apart and I have the filters right up underneath these mason jars so it can filter out and we can see. So this is um, the little picture that I'm gonna use and it says one tablespoon per gallon and this isn't really a gallon. So I'm just gonna pour, I think that's gonna be plenty. So we're gonna do that and then stir it around. And it comes with the red food dye. So you can test it. Mix it around really good. And then we're just going to take the lid off of the top part of the Berkey. So this is where the filters are and it will drain down into this part. But so we can see if all the red food coloring is filtered out, we're going to pour it directly into here. Okay, and then this will take a little bit for it to filter out and we can see it is filtering out the red food color and it is clear. So we're gonna let it filter all the way through and then come back later to see whenever it completely filters it out. So you can see it's still filtering it through, but we have clear water. Again, thank you Berkey for sponsoring today's video and helping us have some very clean water in our home, especially since this is the only thing that Drew and I drink and it helps us to stay hydrated and healthy. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room do want to talk about these real quick before we decorate with them so this is something that i got from like a local vintage market and i met these sweet people that made these and i'm going to link them down below it is called going green lanterns and so these are made out of recycled bottles and they had all kinds of different ways you could display these and so they had like on top of here they would have like chicken salad or pimento cheese and crackers down here be the perfect like little posting platter or like if you're going to a little holiday event a little dip up here and then crackers and this one i just had these little i don't even really know what they are like little pod things i got i think from kirkland's and a hydrangea in there you can't really see this one so that one's not the cutest i could display it but we have that one this I love. So they showed where you could put coffee grounds in here and then the coffee filters. And I just thought this was so sweet. So they just separate like this. And so Drew can get his coffee with that little scoop and then have his little filter in here. And it's just so beautifully displayed. So definitely check them out. And if you buy something, tell them that I sent y'all. A lot of y'all have loved their stuff and has bought all kinds of little recycled items that they have on their website. So definitely check them out. And like I said, I'll link it down below. Oh, now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love. So here's what we have so far. I kind of saw everything. I did change some things up. I'm going to make some banana muffins to go in here. Chocolate banana muffins to go in here. I'll share those with y'all. And then we have oatmeal to make homemade oatmeal. And I like to put these little nuts and things like nuts and cranberries and things and 
to my oatmeal. It tastes really good. Lots of breakfast bars. I love grabbing breakfast bars. Just some cute fall decor pieces. Drew's coffee. And in here, I usually put apples or bananas or something like that. But we're going to use the bananas. They're pretty white. They're pretty ripe. We're going to use those today. So I need to get some more fruit to go in that basket. And then up here, we just have a few pops of fall decorations. Just because I don't use this stuff a lot. So I wanted that to go on the very top shelf. If you can see, it's pretty tall up there, so I can't really get up there. And then here we have our coffee. We have sugar and honey and these little stir sticks. I like to get the holiday ones, like the chocolate little spoons of the peppermints to put right here. And then it might feel a little cluttered right here, but y'all, we use this a lot whenever I have company over. I love that people can just come in here and everything's here to make their coffee. This is so we can do limes or lemons, um, mostly lemons to do like our hot teas in. And I told y'all this was for the frother. And then I love our little coffee maker here. It makes a big pot. It has a little steamer on the side that you can froth with. And then I've had this for a while. I got this from an antique store. So this is just some little coffee pods in here some pumpkin spice this is like stuff to pretty much decorate your drinks with this is edible glitter spray there we do little mocktails more glitter this is coffees and then my friend made me some of these look how cute these are for your little mugs organize as we continue to live here this is all of our teas so we have lots of young living teas i drink these a lot especially whenever i'm not feeling my best i love these and then we just have some chai here and some green tea. That's in there. And I thought this was going to be plenty of storage. And it probably would be. I probably could use, put that stuff in here eventually. But it kind of gave that some height and made this be able to function better. But y'all already saw this drawer. I want to get like little baskets and really organize it in here at some point. This is where all of our coffee mugs are. They were in the cabinets in the kitchen, but they just made more sense to go in here. This is just some shakes and different things. Again, I want to organize that better. Over here, we have all of my vitamins. This is all Young Living vitamins that we take. And then this is full of Nature Red. This is a really highly infused supplement drink. And we love this stuff. So I got a basket full of it. And then all of this, I need to vacuum that. All of this is like miscellaneous medicines and things it's all kinds of stuff and then left out and then like extra vitamins whenever we need them we'll pull it up to here so this is like our little medicine cabinet area and then in here we have bottles of Nietzsche red and sparkling water to make our little Nietzsche mocktails lots of bottles of it now I really wanted to I gotta figure out how to pull these drawers out and I tried to but I couldn't figure it out so I'm gonna ask Drew to I want to put my Nietzsche red here and then I want this to be like where I can pull my like coffee creamers and cold coffees and whipped cream and that kind of stuff. I want that to go in there. I just got to take out like two or three of these shelves to make that work. In that cabinet, it needs some work done to it too. But it has like a waffle maker and a microwave in it. And then that has all of our like aluminum foil and little Ziploc bags. And I also want to organize that too in the new year. So I something really cool I want for that. And then we'll go to this side. This side is as organized as it's going to get for now. We've got to go to the grocery store. But this side is pretty much my entertaining area. So we've been having some friends over. And we like to use paper plates and napkins. So, And I found this little pumpkin, as you saw, at Rustic Relics. And I ended up just putting our little plastic forks and spoons in there. So this was just easy to grab. All kinds of little coffee cups and things. And then I'll just let you glance at it. Nothing fun over here. This I do love. So this behind the door, I love it so much. I hate that you can't see it. And I was going to put it over here by the window, but it made more sense to be back here. I got this little duck head from Kayla Friday. And she had like lots of little booths and sales around town. So I got that. And I just hung my little seasonal aprons. And honestly, I've been wearing them because I've been cooking a lot lately. So those have been so fun just to put on and cook up a little meal. So all those are back there, and I just thought that turned out really cute. More bananas, okay? No. They are delicious. Oh, they're gonna be, oh, they're gonna be banana? Yeah. Banana chocolate chip muffins. Oh! I'll put four bananas, or three. Four. four. 
four bananas. And if y'all don't know who's talking right now, it's going to be Eli. The one that's in some of your videos. Who are you to me? I don't know. Yeah, you do. How do we know each other? Well, that's you and my mom's sister. I'm a, who to you? Hmm? Who am I to you? You're my aunt. Everybody put four eggs. Do you put the shells in there too? Um, obviously no. So you put four bananas, four eggs, and starts to not look that good right now. Eggs and bananas. Do you trust me? A little bit. A 25 drops of stevia. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We're just gonna do 20. But... Okay, you want me to balls it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all. All right, tell them that we, go ahead and start it. I didn't balls it. Uh, <laughs> tell them we need one tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. Now, you might think that I'm holly and I sound a little sick because I'm not holding out another person, but she's the one that's making all the stuff. I'm her assistant right now. Eli, one dash of salt. Yeah, this isn't looking that good right now. Hmm. Is it a little good deal? Hmm. One teaspoon of vanilla. Is it vanilla flavoring or not? Yes. One teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Back and rolling. We need some oatmeal. Is that right? Oats. Oats, not oatmeal, oats. Two cups of oats. And then blend it all together. Okay, when all that's mixed up, put in three. Four cups of chocolate chips. Mix it together. And then mix it together. Pour, pour it in the grease pan. Eli, rate right, them a one out of ten. What do you give them? Ten's the best. I'll give it a three. A three? What? You don't like it? I don't say ten. That's pretty good to me. You don't like it? Well, he might think it's thin, but I think it's three. Uh, three. So here they are. Some of them were a little bit minier because I didn't fill them all the way up. I forgot you had to fill them up and kind of let them overflow the top. But they are delicious, and now we can just stick these in this little cake plate. I'm smacking on them now, but these are the perfect little breakfast to grab a couple of them, and then also a good little snack. So if y'all make those, let me know and let me know how you enjoy them. So thank you, Camille, for that little recipe. And then over here beside the pantry, I really want to get three canisters, just all glass canisters here. That's going to be on my Christmas list this year. I'm looking for the perfect ones, and they need to have a seal because ants were getting in the ones that I did have. So I want to put, like, flour sugar and confectionery sugar in it because this is all bacon. Like, this is cake plates. I'll just show you. I like seeing in people's drawers. I want to organize this a little bit better, but this is all kind of mix-in materials. And here's, like... Uh, this is not done either, but this is, you know, all kind of like little bacon goods, sprinkles, food coloring, that kind of thing. So, I want to make this because I love baking. That's why I like cooking now, but I've, I've always loved baking and making fun things like cupcakes and things. So, I want to get back to doing that. And so, I want to get that so it's easier to access. And then it also fills up this counter space. Put this over here for now. This is... The little dish and I just put biscuits in here with this little spatula with a pumpkin and you could put jam or jelly in here and I thought that would be really cute displayed on like your kitchen island with like some eggs and bacon for the holidays or just any time really but it's just super cute so there's that so we are about to try something new and different in here so y'all knew that whenever i started decorating this dining room i told y'all that this piece and this piece of things that i had and i had originally wanted that to go in our bedroom 
but I was just working with what I had. And we are about to still work with things that I have, but one piece has been at my mom's house and one piece has been at my sister's house. And Drew and my brother-in-law are about to bring them over here. And I'm hoping that they will work. I am not sure, but I'm gonna show you what the, these pieces look like. This one's planning on going to our bedroom. This piece is planning on going upstairs in the bonus room. And then I got some fun pieces for our bonus room too, some chairs that we're gonna be unboxing and kind of decorating up there a little bit. But I wanted y'all to kind of see what the dining room did look like. And we're gonna try these pieces, see if they work. Fingers crossed that they do, but this is a little before. And ignore the curtains. I keep them shut a lot, especially at night so people can't see in. And then during the day, some so the sun can't come in. So that looks a little crazy. So here it is. Now, before you start thinking all the thoughts, let me tell you my plans. So again, this is stuff that I had and I wanted to see what would work until I found something I really love. This was supposed to go upstairs, but the piece that we moved upstairs looks really good and the upstairs looks phenomenal. I love it. Y'all stay tuned for next week's video. We got some chairs moved up there too in that little nook and it is looking so cozy. So this came from the thrift store and I want to paint it if I keep it. This, I mean, I know this does not look its best right here, but it's about to be time to decorate for Christmas, so we're just leaving this as is. And then over here in this hutch, I thought I wanted to paint it, but I don't think I mind the colors. And I like the hutch in here. I think I need to get some lights to put in here to kind of light it up, like to stick up under here. And this is stuff that I had on those other two tables that I just kind of maneuvered around in here. I think it turned out pretty cute. And then this is just like leftover stuff. And I thought I was gonna get rid of that, but I really like the idea of it for the parties. So probably for Christmas time, I will add more whites in here. So the golds and brasses, cause I don't feel like it stands out that much. Wondering if I need to paint it all black and leave this the color that it is on top or paint it all black and leave the drawers painted the color that it is because then it would be black to tie in with the chairs and all but then it also would be that dark brown color to kind of tie in with that so if y'all have any ideas y'all let me know I don't think I'm going to paint this piece now that I got it in here I feel like these two pieces maybe complement each other this has been my thing in this house in this area I have to pretty much get it in here and then live with it for a little while to see what I like because we have so many little projects here that has to be done we'll get it like we like it at some point but these two pieces like I said are things I already had and I feel like they kind of fit the space better and and I think it'll be really pretty for the holiday season whenever I kind of change up some of the decor in here and paint that. So y'all tell me your thoughts. Let's go into the bedroom. Oh, and I put this here too. I thought this looked really pretty on our kitchen island. See, I really like that view. And I like this too, a part of me does, because that's a long black piece. And so this is a tall skinny piece. So you can see both of those views from the kitchen. So I feel like that looks good I like that and then we'll go in here so this is the bedroom and I did move the fireplace in here and I am looking now for different nightstands I knew I was gonna get different nightstands in here with this headboard and then I did move this in here and at first I thought it was too crowded but I actually really like it especially for the holiday season I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous we'll be able to plug it in and use this to heat up this room I loved it in our old bedroom and then I put those mirrors on top of it so I'm excited to decorate this little area for the holiday time and I'm probably not gonna do a whole bunch on top of it maybe just add a pop of greenery um, and be done just because it's kind of a tighter space but I am loving it. Sure about this bench. I'm not sure if it kind of goes with the look that I'm going for, but I think I'm gonna keep all this, trade out the nightstands and then go from there. So there's I that. I guess I can pan this way so you can kind of see. So we have the mirrors and then this beautiful mirror. And I love how it all just ties in together. I think the only thing I desperately wanna change before for Christmas are the nightstands to the foyer because I want to share with y'all my outfit. So this is our foyer area and this is my outfit for the day. I have been loving living in this big cozy stuff. This is just like a big jacket that I got from Boutique last year. It was on sale for like $20 and this is like the Sherpa feel. And these like flared pants are so popular right now. They're like flared leggings and I got these at TJ Maxx last year and I love them. 
and then just slippers. This is what I want to be in all the time. It has been so cold here in Alabama. It's been like in the 30s the last couple of nights. I really don't know why the temperature dropped that low. Um, there was actually a freeze warning. So that is all for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this kind of being at home, decorating the pantry, making a fun little breakfast treat, just spending the morning with me. I'm about to go get ready now because we're having a fun little night um, at the boutique Apple Low. They're having a boo bash and so it's a costume party. There'll be treats there. So we're gonna go do that. I'm actually gonna share with y'all that on the next video. The next video is gonna be a small Halloween decorate with me going to Apple Low to glimpse of the Halloween party and seeing us decorate the bonus room. So thank y'all so much for being here with us today. I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your cozy weekend and I will see you guys on the very next one. Bye friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is a very exciting video. We are going to be collabing with my good friend Kaylin Cash. So most of y'all already probably know who she is and follow her by now or are subscribed to her by now. But if you don't, you should definitely go check her out. We are collabing today on all things fall. So I'm going to be decorating our master bedroom and our master bathroom for fall and making it like a spa autumn oasis in there. I have so many good ideas that I'm so excited about. And then Caitlin, I believe, told me that she is going to be decorating her living room for fall. Now, if you're not familiar with Caitlin, Caitlin is actually, she sold her home. They built like a barn dominium and she's living like an apartment in their barn as they are building their dream home on their land. And so she was kind of in the same situation as us. We had sold our home and we had built our home. So we are actually settled in our new home and are able to start decorating it for the holiday seasons. And we're hoping and praying that Kaylin gets in before the end of the year so she can share all of her holiday videos with her new home. But she does have a new space to decorate and share with y'all some fun ideas for a smaller space right now. And she just did her kitchen decorate with me video this past week and it was so pretty. She has so many beautiful ideas and she is honestly just the sweetest. I've known her for a couple of years now. We have collabed together on a few different videos, but what was really exciting is this past summer, we were both at the same beach together. And so we were able to meet up and actually get to meet each other's families and just hang out and talk for a little while. And that was so nice. I just feel like I was so blessed this year in so many different ways, but I've I got to meet actually two of my good YouTube friends. This year I met Miranda Christine and then Kaylin Cash. And what's funny is like you see them on YouTube and stuff all the time. And you think, I wonder how they're going to be like in real life and all. But when I met both of them, they were just the same. It's like I have known them for forever. I guess because I watch their videos all the time. So probably one of the first things that you're gonna notice is our new headboard and footboard. And I am obsessed with it. So if you follow me over on Instagram, then you already got a sneak peek of it. My mom and I found this at the thrift store, y'all, for a steal of a deal, let me tell you. It doesn't have the connectors on it, so we have to order these like little L bracket things to actually connect it to the bed. But once I find those and get it all connected, oh my gosh, I love it so much. So, uh, the nightstands we are going to change out and i'm thinking about changing out the bench at the end of our bed but we'll talk about that later one step at a time so i'm just going to use these pillows i got these y'all saw in a haul of these black velvet ones from ross and then this little comforter i wanted to warm up our room but i didn't want to add orange because i thought it would look too halloween but this i got from target years ago and it's kind of like an amber color velvet quilt and it fits and looks perfectly, I think, and makes it feel so cozy and fallish. Now, I know that y'all used to have me having pumpkin pillows and pumpkin and burnt orange blankets everywhere, but we're kind of changing things up and I'm really liking how this looks. And then we are gonna be cleaning the room with my Thieves Cleaner that I use all the time. It's just a natural cleaner and I added some essential oils in it to make it pumpkin spice flavor. And even though this is a new home and I feel like I have tried to keep it clean, I feel like all the stuff is still trying to settle in the air. So I'm having to dust constantly. 
I thought I was going to trade out these lamps for something different, but I actually don't mind them. And so I might keep them for a little while longer. Um, the only thing I'm really wanting to change out is the nightstands. And y'all, I really thought the nightstands was going to look atrocious with our new headboard. It doesn't look terrible. It's not my favorite, but I would really like to find some like antique, just beautiful wood nightstands with like some pretty legs on it and we'll be looking for those throughout the next few videos so y'all just stay tuned as we change things out throughout our channel to get it just like we like it right now i'm getting our diffuser ready with thieves which is a blend of like cinnamon bark and clove and some other oils and it smells like fall already but then i like adding this kid power kid power to me smells like a creamsicle and so adding them both together i've never tried it before but i was like mm, that sounds good and let me tell y'all that is one of my new favorites i really like these two the way that they blended together in my diffuser so now we're going to go over to my nightstand and um, i have these little lantern diffusers i really like the black one over on drew's side i'm not real sure about the white one on mine but like i said we're going to keep it from now because that's what we had almost thinking I might wait until I find more nightstands because this one's already looking kind of crowded but just like a pretty vase with fall florals and it would be really nice over here just to add just a pop of fall over here I already feel like the space is already kind of warm enough with the two little trays that I chose for the nightstands but I think that I would like it if I had a little pop of uh, fall floral or something I was really worried that this big piece of furniture that I have for our clothes was not going to look good with my headboard, but it really does not look bad at all. So I am going to keep it for probably a while because I really love these drawers. Now we're going to style the top of this dresser with a few things that I've got. I got this from the thrift store a few years ago. This came from Magnolia Market online had it for years and then this pumpkin I got from somewhere local but sadly it closed down y'all remember Old Town Market and then this little girl I got her from somewhere local too a plant nursery that's new and I just put a little LED candle in it and then I got these little mercury glass candlesticks from a boutique that's local I like to shop local if you can't tell and then these came from Target a few years ago and I swapped these out from the white to these during the fall and Christmas time because it kind of warms up the space and now we're going to go on YouTube and find a beautiful fall scene to complete the look now before we go into the bathroom, I'm going to share with y'all some of these little fall clothes that I got from Ross. I had a few of you tell me on Instagram that y'all miss seeing all my little outfits because I love putting outfits together like I do decorations. And so I got this little top at Ross. Ross has such good deals. Some clothes. They're probably not the best quality, but I got this one and I think it was like $10. So this is one of them and it has the little sleeves that kind of bunch up and then I have a bag right here and I was about to put it away and I was like you know some of y'all might want to see some of this real quick so I'm going to show y'all that really quick before we go decorate the bathroom let's see what we have I got this shirt for $13.99 and it is a flannel material and I love it because I had the match the mix match pattern so the sleeve over here is it's all just different I loved the look of this. The sleeves and the two sides are completely different, if you can see. Thought it'd be really cute with like leather leggings or just a pair of jeans and some booties. So I grabbed that. And then this I got on clearance for $11.99. And this is what I got to wear to my cousin Kayla's baby shower. So we're gonna be throwing her a baby shower. And I saw this dress and absolutely loved it. And it's perfect for her colors. We're having it in at the end of September. And I'm gonna be filming her baby shower and her house for fall all decorated up in a couple of weeks. So y'all be ready for that if you were trying to plan some fall baby showers. But this dress went along with the theme very well. And I didn't have anything, surprisingly, which I go through my clothes and uh, sell them, donate them a lot throughout like each season. 
So uh, I didn't have anything this color and I really liked it. I like the little ruffles on the bottom. So y'all will be able to see that whenever we go to Kayla's house. Another thing I got was this shirt. This one was $12.99. It's basically just like the one that I have on. But, see I tried it on, so. But it has long sleeves and it's silk. Or no, it's not real silk, it's like a silk material. And then it ties in the front. But I loved the brown and the little white flowers in this. And these are just so easy to throw on. If you have a short torso like me, these do good. You can wear it with high weighted jeans, but you don't have to worry about tummy showing or anything. If, you have a, if you're shorter and have a short torso, these are perfect. I really liked that one. This one a lot of you may not love, but I love wearing orange and black like this for Halloween. And this one was $10.99. And so, it's a little wrinkly, I'm about to go hang all these up. But this one has like slits at the side, so you can't really wear it as like um, a dress. It's long enough for a dress, but because of the slits, I'm planning on wearing mine with black leggings with like some booties, or even like some of these tennis shoes that I have that are black leather, they're black uh, leather Air Forces. And so I thought this was so cute, I loved the black in the orange plaid. It looked so October and festive to me. So I grabbed this. It'd be cute with like a black felt hat too for the fall. And then my mom got Maddie this. I think it's so cute. So it was like real cheap, $5.99. Come here, Maddie. And so this is little Maddie. This is my Shizu. She is, I need to brush her ears out. She is 10 years old now. So in doggy years, she's 70. She's so cute and sweet. This is our baby. We've had her ever since Drew and I, uh, right before we got married. We got married in August and we got her in May. So this is the little outfit that mom got her. We like going to this, it's like a huge campsite called Tanny Hill. And all the campers are like decked out for Halloween with like all the fun blow ups and the lights. And it's just so festive there. So last year we took um, all of us and my niece and nephew and Maddie went with us and we let my little niece and Maddie ride around a little wagon. So mom got her this so she can wear this whenever we go this year. <laughs> she doesn't wear clothes around here very much. She does not love them, but that was funny. Actually, I'm gonna insert another clip because this is hilarious. My sister texted me the other day and said, hey, we're coming to, my, coming to your house. We have a surprise. And this is what they showed up with. And so Maddie and Alyssa are gonna be cowgirls for Halloween, I guess. Okay, now let's go into our bathroom. I absolutely love it. I love our bubble chandelier. It looks like bubbles are floating over our bathtub. I will link that down below. I have a coupon code for that if you are wanting to put something like that over your bathtub. They have all different sizes. And then I just hung up blinds in here. Uh, we wanted to get blinds in our house and I didn't know exactly what I wanted. So this is what we're gonna use for now, but I'm almost thinking I might like different style in here, but we just had to get blinds put up so I could have privacy while I was in the bathtub. And then this piece is supposed to go up there. So y'all just ignore all of that. Again, we are in a new build, so we're still working on things. And then the floors we absolutely love, but we're gonna give these a good clean real quick because you can see they get dirty real fast because they're so white, like all the hair and everything shows up on them. So we're gonna clean those real quick um, and then just kind of wipe everything down. And then I'll talk about a rug here in a minute. This is kind of the rug that we're using. I bought two of these off of Amazon. These are just those like little bath mats that you get at hotels. And I wanted our bathroom to feel like a very luxurious hotel, um, just to be just really pretty and white and clean and then add the touches to it. And then don't mind the sticker. We are supposed to be getting a new shower door because this one is scratched. Um, if you can see. I don't know if you can, it's a little bit scratched. So I'm not, I haven't even cleaned this and I'm not going to because that's a waste of time. They're supposed to be replacing this. And then I did get the from Amazon to hang our towels on. I thought that I was gonna get some hooks to hang here, but I like this idea better. And they have like a thick coating on them where they don't, it doesn't sound like metal hitting glass. It's like a thick coating of plastic to protect it. And here's the inside of our shower. And then we have like our little 
niches over here to hold things where they're kind of hidden out of the way so you can't see it while you're outside of the shower. And then over here is our closets in there, the toilets in there, and then this is my side. I have to put my curling iron away. So we're just gonna give everything a good wipe down. You can see where I've been putting all my makeup and stuff. And then my bathtub needs cleaning. So let me know in the comments down below, do you like to decorate your bathroom for the fall season or is that something that you just leave off of your to-do list? I like to do it because it just makes everything feel so cozy as I'm in here. I spend a lot of time in the bathtub. I edit videos in here and I just love our bathroom to be cozy. I take a lot of long baths and as you can see too, I'm using everything at Thieves to clean everything. I like using this Thieves scrub and then a magic eraser to clean the bathtub. I feel like you don't even have to scrub it. You just wipe over and it comes off so easy. And then I don't know if you noticed either, but I used the Thieves Cleaner to wash my hands off with. I'm telling you, I use that for everything. We have even used it to spray it in the back of our throats whenever we've had sore throats to help numb it because it has cinnamon and clove in it. It's just a all natural cleaner, no harsh chemicals. So we use it for everything. Now I'm gonna be using this vacuum my mom gave me for the new house and it's actually a vacuum and then like a spray mop. So it's my first time using it and it ended up being pretty cool. So I'm just gonna use my thieves cleaner in here. I'm trying to figure out how to open it up and I'm gonna pour it in here, vacuum everything really good first and then go back over it and mop. And it smells like fall time because I told y'all thieves cleaner has its uh, clove, cinnamon park, eucalyptus lemon and rosemary so just using this smells like fall and then uh, i'm gonna be making my hand soaps i got these from amazon these little hand soap drawers i think they're really pretty they come in different colors i'll link all of my amazon things that i have found in the description box and uh, I just refill these with the Thieves hand soap um, for the fall time. And I get different scents throughout different seasons, but for the fall, the Thieves is perfect. Now I'm just setting up my side of the vanity. So I got new cotton ball and Q-tip holders. I got these from World Market and they were on clearance and I loved how they looked and so traded my other ones out that I have had for years and got something new. And now I just have this little mirror that I got from Amazon um, a few years ago maybe. And it does light up, I need to find the cord for it. And then I'm gonna be using this antique vanity stool that I've had for years as somewhere for me to sit to do makeup. And then we're going to be styling Drew's side. So over here needed something to fill the wall space and I came up with this perfect idea I already had this glass jar that I got from an antique store years ago. And then I just got some of these fall florals that I got from Hobby Lobby and tucked them in here. And I feel like it just looks really good in this bathroom. And now I'm just getting my diffuser out. And I got this piece of wood that I thought kind of warmed up the space. Just kind of make it feel a little bit more of an autumn touch. And then beside the fallish eucalyptus stems, I decided to use my eucalyptus essential oil to get that going because that definitely helps give it the like spa feeling that we're going for in our bathroom. Now we're just gonna change out our towels for a new fresh set. And then this rug that I got for our bathtub, I've had it for years and I may not use it in here, but it works for now. Um, I may look for one that's got more black in it. And then this I got from Amazon and it can be like a bed and breakfast tray or a bathtub tray. And I love this thing. It has been so nice having all of this beside the bathtub where I didn't have to just put it all on the floor and had to reach for it. I think that you're really gonna like how I style this little area. And then it came with these little trays also where you can put some soaps and things on it. So I'm gonna be using a book that I talked about last week, a candle that I DIY'd that's all natural and with my essential oils. And then this towel I got from TJ, no, Target a few years ago. So we're gonna put this right here to warm up the space. 
and uh, I was just showing you right here where it could hold the candle and then we're going to also be using some of my products and I grabbed everything that was orange a new bottle that's orange that's called evening peace that I will be adding here soon and then it also has this cool little slot for a little wine glass and now we're going to be adding some bath salts or Epsom salt and bath bombs to these little jars that I have had for years they used to be um, holding my flour and sugar and now we are going to recycle them and use them to put our Epsom salt in and these bath bombs and I ordered more bath bombs from Young Living theirs are all natural so you don't have to worry about sitting um, in the bathtub with a whole bunch of chemicals that's that's kind of gross so these are just all natural made um, from just different plants and I'm going to be filling this up so I can use them every time that I get in the bath. And so we're going to be restocking this soon. And then I'm going to be using lavender and peace and calming and my Epsom salt. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a few drops in there and then mix it up very well. And then I'll probably have to add some more to it as I start using it because I couldn't mix it down to the bottom. Okay, friends, now for the big reveal. I hope that y'all haven't enjoyed this little decorate with me for our bedroom. But there is a few more things that I would like to do in here. I was thinking about getting like some pretty artwork to go in here that will look pretty for the fall and the winter season. I do want to change out this bench, I think. I don't think that it goes with the headboard and my new style very well. Um, I'm almost thinking about like a wooden bench or something. And then I love my crystal chandelier that we've had um, in our house for years. This is an antique one and I love it in our bedroom. Just got to find some new night stands. And I really do like how that quilt just added that touch of autumn in here. And then these velvet pillows. I could just not make myself put anything pumpkin in this bedroom because I think it's because we just got moved in here. So I'm liking just all the natural looks. Um, and I'm just not wanting to just do a whole bunch of pumpkins this year, but y'all stick around next year. We might be going at pumpkin crazy again, but for now, just really like how everything came together for this autumn season. And I want y'all to let me know too, if you like the headboard or not, it's probably nothing that you were thinking I was going to be um, purchasing anytime soon or be thinking that I would go for was this style of a headboard but whenever my mom found it and showed it to me we were like this one is it this is the one it is so beautiful and then I really do love the way that this little dresser or this big dresser turned out just simple touches of fall and then our bathroom the bathroom just has my heart it is just so cozy in here i hope that this gave you lots of inspiration to maybe cozy up your bathroom if that's something you're interested in and just to have like a little spa getaway moment in your own home I really hope that if you loved being here with me today or have been here with me before and have not hit that subscribe button, I would love for y'all to go ahead and stop this video right now and hit that subscribe button and just be here with us for the holidays. I have so many fun videos planned throughout the rest of the year. We are so thankful to be in our dream home. This has been just something that we have dreamed up for years and years and years, and we are finally here. And we're gonna be doing a lots of decorate with me's in each room, lots of shopping hauls. And then we're gonna be doing a home tour at the end of the fall season to show y'all everything. And I'm sure I'll, I'll be tweaking some things and changing th some things up and maybe finding new furniture pieces for the home. So don't forget to be watching for those videos as well and again if you haven't subscribed to kaylin cash's channel and want to go check her channel out please do and send her some love tell her that i said hey in the comments and that i sent y'all and i hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your weekend and i will see you guys on the very next one thank y'all so much for being here with us god bless love you all so much